All right, it's just past midnight, day 21. I've decided I'm not going to stay here very long. So we're going to make our way back down through the building at night here with our night vision goggles on. Um, I think we'll be just fine. Just got to keep our eye out. I want to try and loot as we go. There's a lot of stuff that we left behind in this building. So we're going to loot. Uh, we'll probably run into a few zombies on the way down, but I don't think we're going to be that bad off. So let's get moving. Okay, in this little room here on the roof, there's a couple of... Uh, um, working stiff toolboxes I'm going to crack into first before we get moving downstairs. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. We'll take that. We'll take that. I know what's in this one. Still quiet. I haven't heard any zombies. Anvil. Yeah, I'll take all that. We're going to start slowing down here. If I don't, I've got to be careful. Although I don't think we're going to encounter too many zombies. But we better be careful. Well, we found the mod remover schematic. That's kind of nice. Uh, and in case you didn't know from the last episode, apparently it was Carol Baskin. Just letting you know that. Uh, it's kind of important to know. We got some zombies in here we never took care of, so let's go take care of them now. This floor should be cleared, I think. Let's put this down. Don't know if we're going to need it, but better safe than sorry. Well, that was quick and painless. Let's make sure we're reloaded. Alright, we got some... I'm going to check these guys out. Oh, that's nice. Get the rounds back that I use on these zombies. We'll take that. I started taking the... Uh, do we want to take the elevator seed? Probably. I don't know. I started taking the uh, glass jars. Just to save us from having to uh, make them later. We've got a bunch at home, but you never know, right? The one thing we're definitely going to need is uh, sewing kits. Um, if we're going to be making level 3 or 4 or 5 armor, if we can, military armor, uh, we're going to need those right away. That's one of the schematics that I do know is the military schematic, military armor schematic. Now we picked up an extra one here uh, on the roof in a garbage. So we've got that as well. Alright, so this is Vulcan 762. Let's use that. Take this. And this is the Vulcan 9mm mortar, mortar schematic motor schematic. Let's use that. So we do have, as you can see here, we do have the military armor schematic already. I'm going to leave this out. You know what? Um, yeah, just leave it like that. So I don't think we really want to check these rooms too much. Now we did check this bag, right? Oh, sewing kits, man. Yeah, it was just the water jars. We'll take them anyway. Don't need the paper. That's where we found out about Carol Baskin. This is where we go outside. Now I did hear a bird out here earlier, but I don't hear it anymore. We're going to drop down here. Nice. No breaky liggies. Okay, we got a bookshelf down here. Nice. And this is the HD rocket launcher schematic. Let's use that. Take that. A lot of these blueprints are worth a lot, which is why I'm taking them. Beverage cooler. Been finding good stuff in trash like that. Take that for sure. Ooh, there's a bookshelf too. Let's go ahead and use this. Take that. Something good, please. Okay, two more things we don't have. HD workbench. And the HD military boots. Beautiful. Go ahead and scrap that. Whoa! Scared the hell out of me. Holy crap, that scared the crap out of me. 
I thought she was like way further away. Man, I had a heart attack. No, they hear me. What's up, Cletus? It's almost morning. Looks like this is the second floor. This guy almost ran right by us. Well, that's it for him. All right. We could, I guess we should just go down this way. No, we got somebody over here. Where the fuck did they go? We got somebody over on the left. They're standing right in there. I can see there they are. Now we got somebody over here. There's a lot of zombies. I wonder if it was a wandering horde. That's a businessman over there. There's a there's a another one over there too. He's still alive. That was a feral, so he's gone. Don't hear anybody else moving around. I do know there's one more zombie over there. Over here. I don't see her anywhere, though. I mean, I guess we could try drop, dropping down here and heading to the bike. But it's almost morning. There's no point. My only concern is we're moving really slow. Should be able to smoke her real easy though. That's the elevator. Where'd she go? Was it the businessman I was seeing? That was somebody outside. I'm sure they'll be up here in a second. I had to grab as much of the brass on the way out as I I could too. Alright, morning's up. Here we got the guy coming in here. Four hits. Five, six, seven. Seven hits for five fifty. All right, we're going to leave this on for now. Now, oh, that's just an elevator. Is there an easy way into that backpack? I guess not. Got to kind of break through there. Actually, oh, I see. Ah, I see what they did. Get in this way. There we go. Now I need to nerve pull out of here, but still. All that for uh, three iron and a couple glasses, eh? Yeah, all right. Grab both of those. All right, let's head out. Okay, we're out front now. Let's just turn this off. Uh, why doesn't our... Oh, I know what's up. Uh, let's just put on these guys. And then we should just be able to turn our light on. There we go. 
Yeah, we should probably shoot this guy. Okay, let's just check the trash here real quick. Oh, that's nice. Uh, let's use that. I don't know if we're going to need it, but we might as well have as much as we can. This guy looks like he's feral. Nope. Wow, this guy's taking punishment, man. Wow, all that, I had to shoot him anyway. Alright, well, they're certainly a lot tougher now. Another chainsaw. Mess up the chainsaws. The only thing about these chainsaws is I don't think I'm going to end up using them because they generate a heck of a lot of noise and they'll generate a lot of zombies. So I'd rather not go with that. All right. Um, that's just coal. All right, let's get out of here. I'm going to head to the trader. Uh, is that the, that's the guy right there, isn't it? Where's our other trader? Oh, he's to the, he's that way. Let's go to the far trader first. All right, we got something on fire over here. And it's not a zombie. Let's just grab the bike. Gas it up first. Once the lag stops. I noticed this, uh, this mod pack every once in a while, you get these lag spikes, and I don't know whether it's doing a background save or what it is, but they can certainly be annoying. Okay, let's just pick up the bike. Now, where did it go? There it is. Definitely not a fire. Oh, it's a dog. So it's a guy over there and a dog. Well, we better figure out what the hell this thing is. Okay, things are a little tough. Get some meat. And the zombies have got really good ears. He's taking that to the head and he's still fine. Not now. Alright, let's check this guy out. That's an awfully big dog. Giant hound. Looks like we got a deer over here too. Might as well get some meat while we're here. And might as well get some kills while we're here. Yeah, we're really overloaded now. There's a chicken. It looks like it's on fire. Steel pickaxe. Let's see how much hit points this thing will take. That's a very bizarre looking chicken. Well, it's still a one shot. A surprise one shot, but a one shot nonetheless. Let's go ahead and scrap that. We don't need this. What's in here? We can scrap that too. All right, we're almost at the traders here. So we're gonna go in there. We'll check out what he's got. Um, and let's hope that they're still alive. Because I'm certainly uncertain now as to whether or not... Uh, oh, he's got 10 eggs on him? Must have been pregnant. Pregnant. Come on. There you go. All right. We're moving real slow. And we got a zombie on us. right through the neck. Alright, I'll see you when we get to the trader. Alright, let's see if Joel's got any information here. What's up, Bob? 
All right, let's sell this gak first. Uh, we don't need these. We can make chicken nuggets out of them, but we don't need them right now. This can be sold. Uh, we want to keep the motor tool parts. These can be sold. Uh, that can be sold. We can sell this. That's sellable, sellable, sellable. Yep, all of these guys. We've got 19 of them for 1140. Two of these guys for that's beautiful. Nice coins, man. Nice coins. Sell that. I can sell these three. Just don't want to carry them back with me. Uh, we, I want to save the motor tool parts from these. Well, let's just. How much is this? 11. I don't know. Let me think about it. That can go. Uh, what else do we have? We got two flashlights that can go. It, these guys can go. What else do we have? Anything? Uh, Stun baton parts can go. 216 for that. We don't need that. Shotgun parts we want to hang on to. Let's just put the mini bike down here for now. Um, and then let's see what he's got. I'm going to hang on to the bellows and the anvil. I can't make bellows now. We used to be able to make them, but I can't do it anymore. Oh yeah, this can go. And that can go. So yeah, I can't make bellows anymore, so I want to hang on to them in case we don't find the recipe anytime soon. Because we're probably going to need more forges. Okay, so let's see what you got here, buddy. Uh, actually, do we have... I don't think we have any skill points available, do we? we got two. Okay, so let's go here, and let's go to Better Barter. We can only get one more, but that's okay. Um, we're maxed out there. we got one point left. Let's go ahead and put that on to strength, I think. We're going to have to do some mining again soon. All right, buddy, what do you got? Um, wood splitter mod. Looks like they changed. Oh, they got a crucible here, but we can make that now, so I don't have to worry about that. Military fiber I want. I don't have any at home. So we'll take that. Um, what else do we got? Sniper volume 3. Headshots have a chance to stun and a greater chance to dismember. Let's buy that. Batter up level 1. 10% more damage with clubs. We're not really using clubs right now. Wasteland Treasures Volume 1. Harvest Honey. We don't need that. I'm just looking for stuff we absolutely need. We may want to buy the SMG turret, but I'm not sure just yet. Level 5 AK. We've already got a level 5 AK. It's not going to be any better. They're all the same. Yeah, figures. <laughs> we have just enough to buy a gyrocopter. We got one sitting on our runway still. But uh, yeah, we <laughs> could have bought one. Oh well, let's just take this. Um, that's military boots level four. It's gonna be the so the armor now is doesn't matter what level it is. It's all the same armor rating. Um, but the resistance and the durability go up based on how how good it is. Um, BDU top, less heat, more cold for what we're wearing. I think we're fine with that. Um, okay, what else we got? Armor plating mod. We've got two plating mods at home, so we don't need any more of that. Uh, nothing here. Saves me having to make these. And... No casings, huh? All right, well, sure. Shotgun routes. I don't want to buy any ammo. Gunpowder will take all of it. And that's it, looks like. Although these are... Our yeah, these are the ones that do block damage. I don't want block damage from my rocket launcher frags. 3,000, eh? For eight rounds. Let's hang off. Let's hold off for that. I don't think we need that right now. All right, buddy. Thank you for being here. Actually, do you have... Would it be here? Where would the sewing kits be? Uh, resources, probably? Yeah, I don't see any. Although, we can take that for 150. Mm. 
Yeah, it's probably good. Thank you, Survivor. Thank you. Check back soon. I get new merchandise daily. I will. All right, let's go to the other trader. See what he's got. Then we'll head home. Report into command what we did. Hopefully, uh, they'll be happy with what uh, we were able to accomplish. We'll find out what the uh, situation is back on the other side. All right, here we are. See what he's got for sale. Looks like he's still alive. He's open. What's up, buddy? Well, how do you do, friend? How do you do? All right, what do you got in here that I can buy? All right, automatic weapons handbook. How good is this? 20% less degradation. That's probably a really good idea. Uh, I'm going to buy this in order to break it down. Uh, military gloves level 3. Save me having to make them. Um, you got a crucible too, huh? Right highest volume 4. Land claim property. Bows do more damage at night. No thank you. All right, not much else there. Skull cap mod, no, we don't need it. Uh, vitamins, we got lots of those now. New, another chem station there. Blade trap. I mean, we got blade traps. Uh, yeah, lockpicks. Military fiber, we do want, so let's buy that. Uh, what else do we have here? Military helmet level one, and military boots level one. Let's go ahead and take those, because we can break them down. I think we've got lots of military fiber at home, but I'm not 100% sure. I just want to make sure that if we're going to be building new military gear, we've got the ability to, to do that without a hindrance. Rocket launcher parts. We've got four. I don't know how many we've got at home. It's 1,200, eh? Hmm. Excuse you. Must have heard me talking in here. Um. Ah. We don't have the ability to build a rocket launcher yet, although we can build an HD rocket launcher. Let's go ahead and buy all four of them. Just so we've got the parts. I don't want to be hindered by not having parts to do it. Uh, and then we want to do what's here. Bullet tips, 20 of them, we'll buy them. AP ammo. Incendiary ammo, it's kind of nice, eh? Well, we can make this. Once we get our those other workbenches up and running, should be able to make these things with no problem. All right, that's I it for this guy. Time, sir. You guys. Got a bit of lag going on over here. Is this a whole horde? What is this? Come on. Still alive? Yep. Oh, come on. That's a big boar. Get your ass back here. Look at these guys over here too. Nine shots. That's a big ass boar. Alright. Let's get this one here. I don't know, the lag is killing me here. Yeah, lag's killing me. Alright. So the one thing I noticed with this mod pack is that um, if you got a lot of zombies on screen, it can be really laggy sometimes. So you just gotta be careful. Alright, take that, and we'll just dice it up. Not a lot of hit points. That snake had more hit points. What have we got in here? Alright, so this is... Shotguns do 10% more damage. That's definitely usable. Let's go ahead and use the Sniper 1 too. And this guy. And we can scrap these before I forget. And we're encumbered. Ooh! Guy doesn't weigh much. Well, they can't hear me. Wish I had a sniper rifle. A little bit laggy. Still got the aim though. 
Come on, Karen, bring it around. That's her gone. Let's see if we get this guy. That snake's coming for us too. It's one of those killer bee snakes, man. Look at this thing. He's okay, we got one more up on the hill. If we can get him. Nope, I just shifted my... Oh, there we go. It was one shot on him. Did he die? I don't know. He's taking a big slide, though. No, he's still alive. Oop, a little too high. There we go. Beautiful. Let's dice this snake up and go home. Nope, I'm hearing more. That's Mo. Who else is it going to be, eh? There's another one. Thought so. Screw you. Scare me out, out of my mind like that. Forget that. Oh, see ya. Alright, let's head home. That's some good killing. We're gonna have massive zombie kills. Okay, let's go find out what command's got to say. Uh, you get to live today. Not stopping for you. Alright, we're back home. Let's just gas up the bike. There's one zombie over here. Let's take care of that one. Nope, nope. And, yep. And that's it for her. All right, let's take this stuff upstairs. I stopped and picked up some coal and some nitrate powder on the way. So we can make some more gunpowder. We are definitely going to need... Why is it all of a sudden super bright? I don't know. Definitely going to need more gunpowder. All right, so that's that stuff put away. Let's have a look at what we got here. Uh, so these are... Oh, I see. We can choose which kind of ammo we want. Let's grab the AP ammo. And we got two of these, so let's get both of them. That gives us 60 rounds. That's not bad. And then this is Deagle ammo, I think. 0.5. Ah, let's just go ahead and get that put out. Now, we got these guys here as well. I'm going to open these up, grab the resources out of them. Now, these are med boxes. And these are food. That's nice. And then this is for making ammunition, which is also nice. All right, let's put this stuff away now. Okay, so that's it for that. Now we've got these supply drops. Now all you have to do is like basically just throw them down. Then you can just open them up with an axe, which is kind of nice. Ooh, shotgun. Oh, that's kind of nice. Ooh, that's an M60. Level 3 M60. That's kind of really nice. All right, let's grab these guys now. This is the... Which one of these? Health supply. All right, let's see what we got here. All right, well, some stuff to sell. It's not really healthy stuff, but... All right, some more stuff to sell. Let's just put that in here. Uh, I think we've already got these ski goggles. Let's so put that and that in there. We're going to sell those. Uh, what else? This stuff. And let's put the shotgun in here for now. 
Ski goggles, we've already got. Okay, so the M60 can go in there. Go ahead and sell these. And then we've got this stuff left. We've got tons of food now, so I'm not really worried about this, but might as well open it up, check out what we got. Wow, okay. Got a cigar, which we already have, though. Alright, that's not bad. Two more cigars. Sure. Ooh, sniper rifle uh, schematic. Beautiful. Alright, so let's go ahead. Iron sledgehammer. We don't need that. Let's use this, though. Uh, the iron sledgehammer schematic, we can uh, go ahead and um, pick up when we need it by taking one of the skills. Now, we already got sunglasses, right? Yep. Okay, so we can sell these guys. And that. Grandpa's awesome sauce. Now, this stuff can go in here. And then we'll go ahead and drop this in here. So we got some stuff to sell to the trader. I mean, not really that much, but not too bad. Oh, we still got to put uh, this stuff in here. And what else? We can probably put a bunch of these repair kits away too. Have I been keeping them in here? Here? Where have I been keeping them? Do I have any extra? Doesn't look like I do. Well, let's just hang on to them then. Keep them on us. Um, and we can put you away for now because we're not going to be out at night time. We can put that away and the shotgun rounds can go away. Um, yeah, that looks pretty good. We're going to hang on to the coin in case we need to go to the trader for whatever reason. Alright, not too bad. Let's get some food here. Let's go ahead and grab one of these guys. What's our drink at? Pretty low. Let's use one of these guys too. Nice. Alright, now I did try and get in contact with command, but we di I didn't get any response. So I'm not sure why that is. I think what we're going to do now though is we're going to go down and take a shot at flying that uh, copter. Now that we got the fuel for it, we can take a scout around and see if we can find um, any more Higashi Towers. Now, I reinforce this as well. The all down here with the concrete we had. I wasn't sure what the uh, if the zombies were going to cause a problem, but this is all reinforced concrete down here now. So if they do decide to try and break in here, we're pretty fortified. All right, here we are. Let's gas this sucker up. Come on. What am I doing wrong here? Okay, let's check my let's check my controls here real quick. Huh. It should be working. Come on. Why won't you lift off? What am I doing wrong here? I have no idea what I'm doing wrong. Oh great, now we've got like dogs on us, and animals, and... I guess we better get down here.
So, I have no idea. Well, that was seriously failed. I have no idea how to get this thing off the ground. Is there a, like, a manual? I don't know. Well, let's take this dog out anyway. Well, that was failed. Anything good on you, buddy? Nope. We got a radiated dog down there, too. And I saw something radiated in this, uh... Yep. That's a radiated, uh... He's pretty big. Oops. That looks like a demolisher. It totally is. And... See ya, Mo. That guy's still good to go. Not anymore. He's still good to go, too. Now, where's that radiated dog? Radiated doge, where are you? Yeah, I got another level. That's nice. He's down here somewhere. Hope the radiator is not as tough as that other guy. That took a lot of rounds to the head to kill that guy. I don't see him here anywhere. Where the hell did he go? Did he fall in the hole? Nope. Alright, well, I don't know. I don't see him anywhere. Let's not worry about it. So, I was thinking about what this base is going to be like. And I'm thinking that we're going to change the layout for this. Uh, what I want to try and do is something a little different than I've done in the past. Uh, I think what we're going to do after all of this work is probably knock this down. And what I want to try and do is build a base like right here. And this will be it. And what I want to do is kind of angle this, this corner blocks here with the kind of quote unquote cheap blocks that they can't climb up and force them to come up from the four angles. Like this will be three across here and three across here and the same on this side and the other side, right? And they'll come up a little bit of a ramp and I'll be up here behind some bars with um, the turrets, the SMG turrets, shotgun turrets, whatever, and firing out on all four sides on them. And that's what we'll attempt to do. I think we'll do it that way. Um, and then all in the center here is obviously gonna be a place where we can leave if we have to get down underground or I'm going to have a tower as well that's going to connect to that building over there so we can go up the tower sit up in the tower and shoot down on them um, and if they somehow manage to break through that then we can go across the uh, walkway here um, and I'll make a couple of intermittent places along here that we can kind of stop and shoot down on them um, cover it in so we don't have to worry about birds and then um, have places where we can 
pull up blocks so they can't get across and then make our way back into here as a last resort. I think that's kind of how I'm going to do it. But this is going to take a while to knock this stuff down. So yeah, I may not, I might not get to this part um, before the next horde night, but we're going to go ahead and take it all down. I think I don't want to go and do the same thing I've done in the past where it's just kind of a walkway to a door and we just shoot them. I want to try, try something a little different, something a little bit more um, equal, I guess. Um, giving the zombies a chance, but we'll have a way out, so I'm not that worried about it. Okay, let's go drop this last little bit of crap that we've got here up in the uh, up in the uh, tower there, and then we'll figure out what we're doing from there. All right, guys, I figured out what we're gonna do. There's that second military base that we haven't been to yet uh, over here. Let's have a look on the map real quick. See if I can spot it. Now, we were at... Where the heck is it now? It's somewhere up over here. That's the trader. We were in this base. There was one more that we spotted. I don't seem to see it here anywhere. We're going to head over this way. I know there was another military base that we weren't in. Uh, worst case scenario, we can go to the one we were at before because we still have some um, containers there that we haven't opened. I thought it was just over here somewhere. So that is the wreck building there. So that one... that we raided. Where was it? That was it there. So, I thought there was another one of those just over here. That's not it. I know we passed one. I remember saying, oh, I'll have to remember to come back and get this one. I don't see it here anywhere. All right, well, let's have a look around. Well, this will do. Shotgun Messiah. Beautiful. Let's see what we can get from this place. Check this car first, and we're going to just beat through the door and go in a little loud, I think. Let's drop this guy down, though. Like right, probably here. Wake up, fuckers. Daddy's home. Come on out here. Turret sounds like it's going really slow, but it's plenty for these guys. Got a deer over there. We got lots of food, so I'm not worried about it. That's one thing with this mod pack. There's so many animals. All right, we're gonna leave that there. Good place to come back to. We need to beat a hasty retreat. All right, let's go through and wake everybody up. 
Wake the fuck up. Come on, you guys. I got stuff to do today, so let's hurry up. Well, that was a combat shotgun schematic. So hopefully we can make the workbenches we need. Now, I know there's multiple workbenches for the new weapons. Where'd they go? One of them is trying to follow me around the store, I guess. There you are. Sucks to be wild with you! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that could have been so much worse than what it was. What's up, buddy? Is there anybody else? <laughs> oh, that scared the crap out of me. I thought they had just kind of like given up. Here I turn around, they're like right on my ass. Oh! What's going on out here? Oh, it's the deer. Sure, shoot the deer, man. If you can kill it, great. If not, well... Yeah, we got walkers coming. Alright, some more parts. Some glue. Lots of parts. Yeah, see, some of these is kind of cool. You can actually search these. Some food. Not going to spend my time looking for stuff from there. Come on, buddy. That ah, nurse is coming, too. She'll get hers. Eh. Sure. Okay, now we search this. We search this. Ooh, ammo. Nice. Now there's a bunch of boxes in the back. Ooh, level 3 armor. Now we got both of these, right? Yeah. not mess around with the bikers. This thing's destroyed. Let's go ahead and rip that apart. Okay, here's somebody inside. Yeah, so these also get added too when you take apart stuff. I guess it's for servers and stuff. So that... You don't always uh, break everything on other people. You got somebody in the store. Thank you for your loot. Yeah. Alright, let's see what we've got in these boxes. Uh, level 4 crossbow. Shotgun. Wow. Totally thrilled with that. All right, let's see what we got in here. We can break into that. Let's check this out here. Wow. I feel like we got ripped off in here. All right, let's just break into this.
There we go. <sighs> Alright, what's this guy? M3, eh? Alright, let's go ahead and use that. And then we got the, uh, what's this, Mossberg 500, yeah. Combat shotgun, you bet that's that's going to be good. Health supply flare. Alright, well, let's go check the bathroom before we go. There might be something in here. Level 2 wrench. Yeah, a little bit of stuff, but not much. So, I mean, I guess it was okay to hit up this place. Got some brass out of it. Uh, let's go ahead and scrap these. Let's go ahead and use this. And then we can go ahead and scrap both of these. Put that over there. Alright, well... I mean, it is what it is. We got some stuff to sell. Hey, what's up, buddy? Right here. Wow, you got ammo on you, eh? It's kind of weird. Might as well hack him up. It's a radiated boar. You know what we're going to do? I'm going over here. All right, we got a uh, Zamboni down here. We got one inside here too. I want to dig up all this stuff in here. And that's it for you. I'm not gonna shoot at that boar. That's just probably uh, asking to get myself killed. All right, let's dig up all this stuff. Yeah, see these things you can actually search, eh? So if you want to like come back later on when they respawn, you can go ahead and do that. But I'll take the extra little bit. But I'm not. I'm not going to uh, let them respawn. I'm going to go ahead and take them. All right, I took apart the car and the mixer. So we don't really need those here. Got almost 2,000 sand, which is awesome. So we can make a ton of concrete when we get back. Actually, let's grab a, just a tiny bit more here. So this tire here that was left behind by the car, it's kind of interesting because the car will respawn after a few days. Unless you go ahead and break this. Now the car won't respawn. And it's always a different car when it respawns too, so it will never necessarily be the same one. So if it's one of those ones that are completely busted down, um, it might come back as one that's like fully repaired and stuff, or it might not. Like this one here, if we break it, right, it was the second level basically of the car. So now it might come back as completely busted, or it might come back as a full car. Or the same as it was. Either one. But we're going to head back to the house now. There's a Shotgun Messiah building right here. Got some time. Got a couple of hours. Let's go in and see. I don't know if we picked the safes here or yet or not. Let's go check that out. Be nice if we can get in. Oh, that's nice. If we can get into the safes here. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. Check this out. Okay. Grab those. It's just the one safe here. Uh, I'm just going to break into it. I don't want to waste my lock picks. There we go. Alright, some more stuff that we need here. Carabiner. 98 cow. Okay. HD new schematic. Okay, we need that for... The <laughs> okay, we're going to have to use this. Figure out what it is and use it on the Hagachi building. And this is the Vulcan parts schematic. I'm assuming that's a uh, that's like the uh, minigun. I'm assuming. Don't really need the leather, but we're going to grab it anyway. Because we're here. Might as well grab what we can. Alright, and then let's go outside. I'm going to grab a couple of these cars here. can always use the parts. I know um, mechanical parts and stuff like that. Definitely need them. 
So the other benefit of having respawning cars like this is that if you are having issues with um, performance on your computer and you want to play on a smaller map, like I'm on an 8K map. I think this is 8K or 10K map. It's a pretty big map. Um, if you want to play on a smaller map, you can uh, because the cars and stuff will respawn. Also, the containers will respawn too, right? So, um, so you know, uh, concrete, the cement containers, sorry, the uh, um, cobblestone containers, those things will respawn what's in them. So you don't necessarily have to dig it up and then you're out of resources. You can just kind of leave it and come back to it. And the cars will respawn themselves so you'll you know you don't have to go from city to city to try and find new cars they'll just constantly respawn for you so that's kind of nice all right there we go we're back home so let's take this stuff back upstairs okay that stuff's put away we got one of these flares let's see what it is Hopefully something good. Yeah. Okay, we got that to sell. You know what? Let's just use one of these guys. Might as well. Get a little bit of XP for it. 55, not bad. All right. Um, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to make some gunpowder. I'm going to make some concrete. Um, get some more ammo moving and see if I can get the HD workbenches and stuff going uh, overnight. And then... Um, HD workbench. We do have the schematic for it. Beautiful. So I'm, I'm going to try and get as many of these HD benches going as I can. We need to do the, we need an ammunition bench. We need a weapons bench. Uh, there's also an HD concrete mixer, which can actually mix concrete real fast. So I want to try and get that going as well. Uh, get as many of these things going and hopefully make some new weapons because they're supposedly better than the stock weapons that we have. Um, so if we can get a better pistol, better um, shotgun, uh, better assault rifle then I think we'll be set I don't want to use the M60 you want to save that for Horde Knight I think I'm making it just rock with that thing on Horde Knight uh, but we're gonna have to make some more ammo too we burned through a couple like a couple of hundred rounds of nine mil uh, I had made more in the uh, um, 762 in the workbench so um, I grabbed that before we went back out so we used a you know three or four hundred rounds of that today too which we can't keep doing and be sustainable so yeah anyway i'm going to end this episode here guys i uh, hope you enjoyed it we'll see you next time